English or Spanish? Yes, the Euro 2024 final will be England versus Spain. Now, Spain out of the two has probably been the most deserving to get to this final. They've been very consistent in basically every single match. While England, on the other hand, they were very disappointing during the group stage matches, but showed a lot of resilience in the quarterfinals and the semifinals. They were down, but came back to win. So maybe England also deserves to be here. So today, my friends, we're going to find out who wins Euro 2024 because we're going to sim Euro 2024. Not once, not twice, not three times not five times not even 10 times but 20 times the spanish wonder kid lamin yamal versus the star boy bukayo saka jude bellingham versus rodri and unai simon versus jordan pickford of course my dear friends as always before we begin please hit the like button for me i would really appreciate it if you enjoy the videos and the content and if you're not subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button i would really appreciate that as well let's go and sim euro 2024 a bunch of times 20 times to be exact and i also quickly want to show you the starting 11 line lineups that both teams will take into every simulation this is Spain it is the front three of Nico Williams Alvaro Morata and of course Lamin Yamal on the right side the midfield of Rodri Pedri and Danny Olmo and the back four of Kukurea Laporte Lenormand Carvajal and Unai Simon in nets while England will line up like this it will of course be Harry Kane right behind him will be Jude Bellingham Phil Foden on the left Bukayo Saka on the right the midfield partnership with Declan Rice and Trent Alexander Arnold I know it's been Kobe Mainu that's starting but he's only 72 rated and I really don't want to put a 72 rated midfielder into this final so we're going to use Trent Alexander-Arnold to kind of make it a little bit fair and then the back four of Luke Shaw, Mark Gay, John Stones, Kyle Walker and of course Jordan Pickford. Every final will be played at the Olympia Stadion which is the actual stadium where the final will be hosted so let's begin with final number one who is going to take the lead who is going one nil up let's find out England or Spain it went to penalties and it went to England Morata, Rodrigo and and Williams Jr. missed a penalty. Rodri, man, missed the pen. Morata, I mean, maybe expected Morata to miss the pen, but Rodri, come on, man. 4-2 on pens for England. England goes up 1-0. Simulation number two after a very dramatic sim number one. Can England take a 2-0 lead or will it be Spain that rebounds? Let's find out here. Who is it? It's England once again. Danny Olmo opens the scoring, but then Kane scores and Phil Foden in the 56th minute. 2-1 for England, 2 Two nil in simulations for England. Sim number three, and honestly, Spain cannot fall any more behind. They're already down two nil. Can they go down three nil, or will they finally get a win and bounce back? Let's find out. No! They cannot. It's Phil Foden again. It's close once again, but England win once again. It's 3-0 for England. Spain is in trouble. Simulation number four, they're down 3-0. Can they win sim number four here? Spain, yes, they can. Finally, they're back in it. Morata scores in the 30th. Rodri puts it away in the 83rd. 2-0 for Spain, 3-1 for England. We are at the 25% mark. England is leading 3-1. Can Spain make it even closer and make it 3-2? Let's find out. Who wins? sim number five no england take another commanding three lead because it's 2-1 for england they're up by three it's 4-1 as we go into sim number six and england is up 4-1 let me know down in the comments if you think it is coming home or not is spain gonna win it or is england gonna win it well here it's 4-1 sim number six can spain make it 4-2 yes they can they are once again back in it it is danny olmo and it is alvaro morata kane did score for england in the 34th to equalize but then alvaro morata got one late in the 79th minute to 2-1 for Spain, 4-2 for England. Sim number seven, can Spain make it 4-3 or will England go up by three? Let's find out. Spain or England, it is England and they will go up by three. It is Kieran Trippier who came on as a substitute for Luke Shaw. He scored and then Jude Bellingham put it away in the 83rd minute. It is 5-2 for England. Simulation number eight, 5-2 for England. Can Spain make it 5-3? No, they cannot. I mean, England is now just starting to run away with it. England is starting to run away with it they win 3-1 who scored here Kane scored once again Morata missed another penalty man Morata Jude Bellingham made it 2-0 Marino got them back in the 70th minute but then Eze who came on as a substitute for Phil Foden put it away in the 86th minute it is 6-2 for England after eight simulations sim number nine and honestly Spain's got to start winning some man England is already up by four can they go up by five and make it 7-2 or will it be 6-3 it's gonna be 7-2 
another close game like every game has been really really close it is Declan Rice Morata with the brace Morata actually gave Spain the lead in the 81st minute but then Kane Harry Kane saved England sent it into extra time and then Harry Kane scored in extra time what a way to win your first trophy 7-2 for England man England keeps dominating we are almost at the halfway mark sim number 10 7-2 for England Spain really really needs this one can they get it no they cannot again an extra time Morata scores again it just seems like Spain scores first but they can never hold the lead Luke Shaw equalizes and then is once again Harry Kane in extra time after 10 simulations eight two for England just utter domination which means that after 10 simulations FC 24 says that Spain only has a 20% chance of winning this final they've only won two out of 10 while England has an 80% chance of winning this final I don't know how accurate that is but we're gonna go into the second half of the sims sim number 11 I mean Spain really I mean if they have any chance any opportunity they have to start winning these simulations sim number 11 a2 for England can Spain win one yes they can they make it a3 a very very good start again Morata they score first but again they can't hold the lead Jude Bellingham equalized but Rodrigo Rodri he got it back he got the winner 8-3 simulation number 12 Spain has to go on a little run here they got to win a couple in a row can they win another one and make it 8-4 let's find out Spain yes they can and it's on penalties this time it's Harry Kane and Jude Bellingham that missed penalty Danny Almo also missed one it was a wild game actually uh, all the goals all the goals were and Morata. Dude, Morata missed another penalty. How many penalties has Morata missed in this video already? <laughs> like, he keeps on missing penalties. It was nil-nil going into extra time. And there was four goals in extra time. Saka scored. Olmo equalized. Marino put Spain ahead. They again couldn't hold the lead. Kane equalized. And then England lost on penalties 4-2. 8-4 for England after 12 sims. Sim number 13. Lucky number 13. Will it be lucky number 13 for Spain? I don't know. Can they make it 8-5 or will England go up 9-4? Let's find out. Spain or England? England will go up 9-4 and it is once again through Harry Kane. 9-4 England after 13 simulations. The start of sim number 14, England is up 9-4. Can they go into the double digits or will Spain get one back and make it 5? Spain will get one back and prevent England from going into double digits. Morata scores in the 72nd minute. They finally hold the lead and it is 9-5. As we go into sim number 15 spain has already won more matches than they did in the first 10 yeah it's 9-5 can they prevent england from getting their 10th once again or will england get their 10th oh okay spain is making a comeback man spain is making a comeback it's harry kane harry kane with a brace again for england harry kane just keeps on scoring in these finals danny olmo alvaro morata also with a brace it's 9-6 sim number 16 guys and this is honestly much better from spain they've been so much better in the second half of the simulations than they were in the first first half can they prevent England once again from getting into the double digits 9-6 will it be 9-7 or 10-6 let's find out who wins it it was Spain almost did it but England pulled it off Marino missed a penalty anything else happened and it's again again the same story with Spain man in this entire video they take the lead in the 42nd minute and they cannot hold it they can't hold the lead and they lose on penalties it is 10-6 for England well since it's 10-6 and there's only four simulations left Spain has to win every single sim remaining to equalize England's number of 10 wins. Can they make it 10-7? Let's find out. Spain? They can. They make it 10-7. It's still alive for Spain. Can Spain actually continue this miracle run and make it 10-8? I mean, it would be something else. Yes! <gasps> It's 10-8. It's, it's the two wonder kids. It's Williams, Nico Williams, and Lamine Yamal. Nico Williams and Lamine Yamal. And finally, Spain actually held the lead. They held the lead. They make it 10-8. Spain is doing to England what England did to Spain in the first 10 simulations. Spain has been very, very dominant in the second part of the video. Can they make it 10-9? Will they make it 10-9? Let's find out. They will make it 10-9. Dude, what a comeback by Spain. Harry Kane scores once again. Danny Olmo in the 24th minute. And then Morata, Alvaro Morata, he keeps on missing penalties in this video. It wasn't a penalty this time. He scored in the 71st to give Spain a 2-1 win. And all of a sudden,
sudden going into the last simulation it is 10-9 for England well it's 10-9 for England and the final simulation sim number 20 the Euro 2024 final we're gonna watch it Spain versus England at the Olympia Stadion it is kickoff time and England have the possession England have the throw in what have we learned so far uh, as it's 10-9 for England we haven't learned anything maybe we learned that it's gonna be a close match and Foden <gasps> Phil Foden that is outstanding. That is brilliant. England wants to win number 11. Early on, Phil Foden, a touch of magic, a touch of class, 1-0 for England. It was magnificent from Phil Foden. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And all of a sudden, Spain is behind. Morata, brilliant. There's Lamine Yamal. Can he show some magic in this final? Can he get Spain right back into it? Yamal. Turn, shoots, deflected. Pickford will collect. A little bit of a scare. England is playing some beautiful football here in this final. It's literally just an English masterpiece. Saka, what a turn. Saka lays it off to Jude, to Harry Kane. That is as good as it gets, my friends. This is the England that we love. This is what they're capable of. They just haven't showed it throughout the Euros. But the talent is there. The quality is there. Look at this goal. I mean... The placement is perfect from Harry Kane. Harry Kane scores in the final. Can he win a trophy? His first trophy. There he is. He makes it two. Honestly, probably deserving. I think England deserves this 2-0 lead here in this final. And so far, it looks like England will be winning 11 out of the 20 simulations. But hey, we've seen Spain come back in the simulations. Maybe they can come back in this final as well as halftime approaches. Will the ref blow the whistle? Yes. The whistle is blown. 47 minutes have been played. 45 minutes plus stoppage time to go. 2-0 England, an English masterclass so far. We kick off the second half, guys, and Spain has a lot of work to do. They have to be better. They were terrible in the first half, but they were terrible in the first half of simulations as well. They were brilliant in the second half of simulations. Does that mean they're going to be brilliant in the second half of this game? We're going to have to find out. We're going to wait and see. I mean, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe that's how it's going to work out. But they do have to score two goals. I mean, it is a lot of work. Oh, just Rodri misses the ball there. Gives it away to Bukayo Saka. Bukayo Saka finds Harry Kane. Harry Kane drops it off to Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker. Saka now. Saka has been the player of the tournament for England IRL, I would say. Saka will drop it off to Jude Bellingham. Nope. Shot! Unai Simo, the best player for Spain in this final, saves them again. And England is making an early change. It will be Kieran Trippier coming on for Luke Shaw. Maybe Luke Shaw is still a little bit unfit, maybe a little bit unhealthy. Can't play the full 90, so it will be Kieran Trippier playing on the left side. Into the box, the corner goes. Kukarea gets it out. As far as Declan Rice. Back to Foden. Phil Foden, who scored the first goal for England. He was instrumental in that first half. Phil Foden does brilliantly once again. Makes the turn. What a pass. What a goal. What a goal from England. It is Jude. It is super Jude. I mean, this game is over. It's over. Phil Foden, look at this pass. That's unbelievable. And the finish. The finish is classy from Jude Bellingham. <laughs> 3-0 did you expect this i didn't i mean it's 3-0 guys what a final on our hands spain could not compete i don't know what's going on here <laughs> this, is, this is crazy man nico williams and laminia mile they've been they've been kind of put to rest a little bit you know what i mean they've they've been invisible this entire match we've seen laminia mile maybe create a, a pretty decent opportunity in the first half but since then nothing and nico williams hasn't really been on the ball kukarea I mean, there he is on the ball now. Can he do something? Danny Olmo. Pedri. Okay. Okay. Spain stay alive. They're staying alive. Maybe there's still hope. It's getting late. It's in the 68th minute. But Spain get one back through Pedri. It all of a sudden is 3-1. Still a two-goal cushion. Still pretty sit sitting pretty comfortable for England, I would say. But maybe just a little bit of a scare. A little bit of a worry. 79th minute. It's getting very late. They need two goals. Danny Olmo makes a nice turn. Drops it off to Pedri, the goal scorer. He'll go to Alvaro Marata. Headed to Rodri. Rodri gets by one. Trying to find a nice pass here. Rodri. There's the pass to Yamal. Yamal in the box. It's all Spain here. They're looking for the goals. Pedri in the box. This is dangerous. Oh, and John Stones. John, John Stones saves a sure goal because Morata was there. I think England will win this one. I think England is going to win this one, guys. They're down by, I mean, 
Spain is down by two. It's just, I don't think it's going to happen here. I don't think it's going to happen. England going forward, wasting time. We're already in stoppage time. They're still continuing to get forward here. Maybe score another one. Spain gets the ball back, but I think that's going to be it. That's it. That is it. Euro 2024. It comes home. 20 simulations, guys. 20. <laughs> England won 11 of them. And 11 out of 20, if you do the math, it is 55%. Does that sound pretty uh, accurate when it comes to favoring who is going to win Euro 2024? It is Ollie Watkins. It is Jude Bellingham. It is Harry Kane. Unfortunately, Harry Kane was subbed off. So Ollie Watkins became the automatic captain because he took the armband from him. But Phil Foden and Bukayo Saka, Kyle Walker and Jude Bellingham, also a goal scorer, still on the pitch. What a brilliant, brilliant performance as Ollie Watkins, a.k.a. Harry Kane substitute, lifts this trophy for England. 55% of the matches of the simulations were won by this English side. And Gareth Southgate finally brings it home for England. Harry Kane finally wins the trophy. Let me know down in the comments who you're cheering for at the Euro 2024 final and who do you think is going to win it? How accurate was this, by the way? 55% for England, 45% for Spain. Who is the favorite in the matchup? Let me know. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other, guys. Stay happy, stay healthy. Always keep smiling. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, 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 peace. Harry Kane and Gareth Southgate win a trophy. Peace!